With Oculus unleashing their pre-orders on the Rift, HTC were in full force at CES showing off their new Vive pre-headset. The updated Vive pre-headset features a slightly improved design, a new front-facing camera, which is totally awesome, and redesigned lighthouse controllers. We were walked around through four different demos, with the first demo showcasing the new front-facing camera. The camera lets you see into the real world, which might sound boring, but it's actually very, very useful. The camera overlays within the VR world, with a blue grid that lets you know when you're walking near a wall or too close to the ground. During the demo, one of the HTC reps put a chair behind me and told me to turn around. So I follow the order and turn around and he says, do you see the chair in front of you? I see it and I thought I was being trolled and with a chair being rendered behind me. So I moved my leg out and kick it, hurting my leg, realizing that the real chair being overlaid in the virtual world. The next demo was an underwater world where fish and whales were floating past. Moving the lighthouse controller near the fish had them scatter, but then a massive whale floated behind me and the scale was simply incredible. If I knew what it was like to be standing underwater in the real world watching a whale swim past me, this is as close as I'll get. The third demo was one of the most impressive, where HTC dropped us off into a virtual office. I had to make coffee, I then had to get the cup and put it to my mouth and drink it, which was a nice touch. I then had to plug the power cord to the PC and the monitor into a power board and turn the PC on. Once the PC was on, you used the lighthouse controllers to grab the mouse on the desk to move it around within the PC. Even though you're using a controller, it was far more intuitive than I could ever have imagined. Using a controller to simulate a mouse was 10 times more accurate than using a thumbstick on a controller, like the ones on the Xbox or PlayStation. The next demo was the Aperture Science demo, which was showcased throughout 2015. It was absolutely incredible with an insane amount of detail that had me looking extremely close at every little piece of detail within the world. The Aperture Science demo was definitely the most immersive for me. Valve made the demo, so you can be sure that we're showing off their best VR demo with a Steam VR powered HTC Vive Pre headset. All in all, I'm incredibly excited for the Vive Pre, but it's like having two wives, if I knew what that felt like. The Oculus Rift has its good points, but the Vive Pre feels more polished, mainly thanks to its impressive front facing camera and the intuitive lighthouse controllers. We should see HTC opening pre-orders of the Vive next month with a shipping in April. For more information on this product and all of the coverage we have of CES 2016, check out tweaktown.com.